theoretical. It, uh, its focus is to create new theory or to validate old theory or to modify old theory or add to it. Uh, second word I would say is uh, innovative, uh, if possible to the point of disruptive. The third word to describe it, I would say it's like, it's energizing. When you do it, it's, it's like it's like drugs without drugs, but it's it's this exhilarating feeling that you're uh, that you're exploring, that you're discovering, that you're learning, and uh, and you're not just doing the same old thing, following a formula. Let's see, I, I, this might be uh, a little different response. I, I sort of think of it as being liberating, a liberating um, in a sense. Uh, I, I started out my career as a classroom teacher, and then I became an academic and researcher. And in fact, there are people who have argued that you have to give up some of those intuitions as a teacher to uh, really engage fully in, in education research. And so design-based research for me is a very liberating um, and a lot of people I talk to, it's an easy sell because they too have that sense if they've been in the classroom. This, this is a way for me to bring to bear my instincts and values as a, as a teacher uh, with my role and interests as, as a researcher. So I'd say it's a liberating uh, approach to research. I think another word that comes to mind is context. Uh, that uh, we have often overlooked the importance of, the, the, of contextual factors. And it's certainly in experimental methods, we sort of consider them as random variation. But any, again, any teacher knows that it's those little details, those little contextual factors that make all the difference in whether something works or doesn't work, or works in one situation and not in another. And I think um, design-based research allows us to uh, acknowledge that and to try to contend with it in an honest and genuine way that might really inform practitioners. So it's that bridging of the gap between research and practice that we've been talking about for decades and lamenting. I think this provides us with a real opportunity to uh, close that gap in, because in effect your research is practice. Impact, impact, impact. Uh, the idea that uh, there's a purpose for doing your research, which isn't a journal article or uh, promotion. It's to have an impact on some important problem in the world. Um, and of course, I want to have journal articles, and I want to be promoted. Well, I'm not going to be promoted anymore. But <laughs> uh, you know, those things are all important and valuable in life. But uh, having an impact on some important issue in our society is why we're here, what we're doing this for. Um, so, you know, I think DBR helps you keep that in the forefront of your work uh, as opposed to letting that slide into the background. In three words, that would be the three R's. Design-based research is real world. Um, Design-based research is relevant and design-based research is righteous. And I mean righteous in the term is virtuous. It is justifiable, it is ethically sound, but it's also totally awesome.